Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 5. And Shalomah reigned over all kingdoms, from the river unto the land of the Palestine, and unto the border of Mitzrayim. They brought presents and served at Shalom Ah all the days of his life. And Shalom Ah's provision for one day was thirty measures of fine flour and three score measures of meal, ten fat oxen and twenty oxen out of the pastures and a hundred sheep beside hearts and roebucks and fallow deer and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region on this side the river from Tifchach even to Gaza over all the kings on this side the river. And he had peace on all sides round about him. And Yahuda and Yashadael dwelt safely, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, from Dan even to Be'er Shiva, all the days of Shalom Ah. And Shalom Ah had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots, and 12,000 horsemen. And those officers provided victual eth for King Shalomah, and eth for all that came unto King Shalomah's table, every man in his month. They lacked nothing. Barley also in straw for the horses, and dromedaries brought they unto the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And Elohim gave Shalomah wisdom and understanding, exceeding much, and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Shalomah's wisdom exceed, excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country, and all the wisdom of Mitzrayim. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan and Azrahi and Cheman and Kalkol and Darda, the sons of Machol. And his fame was in all nations round about. And he spoke three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spoke of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that springs out of the wall. He spoke also of beasts and of fowl and of creeping things and of fish. And there came of all people to hear at the wisdom of Shalom Ah, from all the kings, of, rather, from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. And Kirham, son of Sor, sent eth his servants unto El Shaloma, for he had heard that they had appointed him king in the room of his father. For Chiram was ever a lover of David. And Shaloma sent to Chiram, saying, You know how that eth David, my father, could not build a house unto the name of Yahuwah Eloheyu for the wars which were about him on every side, until Yahuwah put them under the soles of his feet. But now Yahuwah Elohai has given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent. And behold, I purpose to build a house unto the name of Yahuwah Elohai, as Yahuwah spoke unto El David my father, saying, Your son, whom I will set upon your throne in your room, he shall build a house unto my name. 
Now, therefore, command you that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with your servants. And unto you will I give hire for your servants, according to all that you shall appoint. For you know that there is not among us any that can skill to hew timber like unto the Sidonim. And it came to pass, when Chiram heard at the words of Shalom Ah, rather Shalom Ah, that he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be Yahuwah this day, which has given unto David a wise son over this great people. And Chiram sent to El Shalama, saying, I have considered the things at which you sent to me for, and I will do at all you d your desire concerning timber of cedar and concerning timber of fir. My servants shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place that you shall appoint me, and will cause them to be discharged there, and you shall receive them, and you shall accomplish at my desire in giving food for my household. So Chiram gave Shalamah cedar trees and fir trees, according to all his desire. And Shalomah gave Chiram 20,000 measures of wheat for food to his household and 20 measures of pure oil. Thus gave Shalomah to Chiram year by year. And Yahuwah gave Shalomah wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Chiram and Shalomah, and they two made a league together. And King Shalomah raised a levy out of all Yasharael, and the levy was 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month by courses. A month they were in Lebanon, and two months at home. And Odaniram was over the levy. And Shalomah had threescore and ten thousand that bore burdens, and fourscore thousand hewers in the mountains. Beside the chief of Shalomah's officers, which were over the work, three thousand and three hundred, which ruled over the people that wrought in the work. And the king commanded, and they brought great stones, costly stones, and hewed stones to lay the foundation of the house. And Shalomah's builders and Chiram's builders did hew them, and the stone squarers. So they prepared timber and stones to build the house.